I just picked a scab off and I'm about to throw it in the trash can. Oh, the trash can's not even open. Whoops. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So the other day I was on Instagram. I tried to avoid Instagram at all costs because I literally feel so insecure every time I get on it. Everyone's perfect on there, everyone has perfect bodies, everybody eats good food, everybody goes to cool places I can't handle it, okay? So anyway, my boring life is always me playing Fortnite at home by myself with my dog. You know these new question things they have where like you put it on your story and it's like, ask me a question. I hate them so much. So I was at a sushi place, I took this disgusting selfie and I put a little question thing on it and I guess I I hate Instagram so much because I do. I didn't expect anyone to respond. I thought everyone was gonna be like, you're a freaking idiot. And I got like eight like questions. I was like, I didn't even ask anything. So this one guy was like, more gay story times, please. And I'm like, you know what? That's actually not a bad idea. I swear, every time I post a video that has to do anything with like gay or anything, it gets like 12 times the amount of views I usually get. So I'm like, you know what? If this is gonna help my channel become resurrected, then let's do it, okay? Today's story time. It's gonna be another cringe-worthy Tinder horror story. I have like literally like 20 of these. I'm not even kidding. I could go on. I'm gonna do like a series. But this one in particular is what I consider myself to be my first gay Tinder hookup. Spoiler, we didn't have sex, but just listen. It's uncomfortable. You'll see why I call it my first hookup. I'm not the kind of person who ever hooks up with people. I've literally never just like had sex casually. I've actually only had sex with one person. <laughs> so rewind, probably like two years ago, which is so weird to think that this was two years ago. My ex-boyfriend, he broke up with me, moved to Mexico, okay? And I was like so heartbroken. It was like my first heartbreak ever, okay? I was like, I'm gonna wait for you to come back or whatever. He said he was only gonna be there for like six months or whatever. I swear, on his Snapchat, he was always like partying with like naked guys and it stressed me out. Anyway, he started posting on his Snapchat story and being like, dinner with Bay, or like he'd be like in bed with, he like literally would post like selfies on Twitter of him with like another guy in bed just to make me jealous. He's a bitch, okay? Anyway, so as soon as he started posting all these pictures with other guys and all this shit, I was like, you know what? I deserve to be happy as well. I deserve to have a little bit of fun. I got Tinder again. Honestly, I probably got all the apps. Okay, Cupid, Tinder, Grinder, Bumble, Hinge, and they all sucked, okay? So I'm like, very picky when it comes to guys. Um, I hardly ever matched with anyone on Tinder. I'm just like, I always like swipe left or whatever. I'm like, girl, bye. I'm swiping, I'm swiping, and I find this guy. He looks attractive, so I swipe right, and we match, and we have a mutual friend. You know like how it tells you? It's like, you have a friend in common, and it was one of my good friends, uh, Jacek, and so I messaged Jacek, I'm like, who is this guy? He's like, oh, we like went to high school together. And I was like, he's like, I didn't know he was gay. And I'm like, oh. Me and this guy started messaging. Like, he seemed cool. We like gave each other our phone numbers, whatever. I thought he was pretty good looking and all that stuff. Eventually, after talking for a while, he asked me on a date. I said yes. I just picked a scab off and I'm about to throw it in the trash can. Oh, the trash can's not even open, whoops. He tells me we're gonna go to a drive-in movie, which I'm like, all right. First of all, like, that's cute. But like for a first date, I've always liked the kind of dates where you can just sit down and get to know each other. Like literally, I don't like expensive dates. I don't like dates where you don't get to talk to the person because that's what you're there for. Literally, I was like, what are we doing? Why are we going to a drive-in? <sighs> and so I drove to his house, which was a nice house. And I was like, girl, he got the money. And so I called him. And you know how like it's like the weird the first time you talk to them and like hear their voice on the phone. I was like, I'm here. And he was like, okay, I'm on my way out. I get out of the car. He said we were taking his car, so like get out. I'm just awkwardly standing in his front yard. I'm like, huh. and so we get in his car, and he's like, you want to eat food? And I'm like, uh, yeah. I'm always hungry. So we go to Zupa's, which was great. I love Zupa's. The only thing is, is on first dates, I literally cannot eat anything. When I'm nervous, I can't eat. I'm an introvert. I get anxiety around people that I don't know, and I don't know this person. I'm going to Zupa's, and it was awkward because he knew like all these people at Zupa's for whatever reason. Like his friends worked there, and I was like, "What? Do you work at Zupa's? What? What's going on?" So we're talking, and uh, we're kind of just getting to know each other. Like small talk. It's kind of weird. I was like, "So are you gay or are you bi or what?" And he was like, "I don't even know." And I was like. You don't even know, but you're on a date with me right now. I was like, girl, get yourself together. It was so weird. He was like, yeah, my friends just said to like experiment. And I'm like, okay, I guess I, I respect that. But 
I came on this date thinking that you were gay and ready because I'm like relationship ready, Hanny. So like, okay, great, perfect. So we went to the drive-in movie. We saw, oh yeah, it was Captain America Civil War. So we've both already seen it. Uh, we're not gonna be interested. He's gonna wanna like make out or something. So we pull up into the drive-in, which is cool. I think drive-ins are dope. And it was like raining. And so like the projector thing and like all the rain was coming through it and it was like, it just looked really cool. We park and we're both in the front seats, obviously. That'd be weird if I was like in the back seat and I was just like chilling. And we're sitting there and we're gonna start like watching the movie. And he's like, I'm just gonna get a little comfortable. He like takes off his shoes and stuff and I'm like, cool. And he's like, you wanna like get in the back? And I was like, Sure. We took turns climbing through the little slot <laughs> and we're sitting back there and I'm on one side, he's on the other side of the car because like we just met. I don't cuddle after the first date. I'm not comfortable with cuddling unless I like really know you and I have like a connection. I don't know. The two front seats in our way and I'm like trying to watch like Captain America, you know, because he's a very attractive man. He's like, so you should come over and cuddle. And I'm just like, that was the weirdest thing anyone has ever said to me. <laughs> and I literally sat there in like silence for a second and I was just like, uh, like I'm good. Like I literally said, I'm good to him. I was like, no thanks. We literally didn't cuddle the whole movie. We kind of just like chilled. And I think eventually we just started talking about like relationships and stuff. But we got in like deep conversation about like his past relationships and my past relationship, all this stuff. Um, anyway, it's not important to the story. And so that was when I kind of started to be like, okay, like this is fine, like he's cool. We literally didn't cuddle the whole movie, I don't think. He wanted to really bad because who wouldn't want to cuddle with me? <laughs> and so after that, he was like, you want to go on a drive? And I was like, sure. And so we drive up the canyon and I remember we both had to take a piss and so we went to this bridge that we saw and we just both literally stood on opposite sides and we pissed off the bridge. It was kind of cute. Gay relationship goals. You couldn't do that in a straight relationship. Hashtag benefit. Here's where it gets a little spicy, okay? And so we both get back in his car and we drive down the mountain again and we're like getting to the end of the canyon and we like pull over and he was like, sorry, my contacts are killing me. They're like dry or something like that. I was like, okay. And so he pulls out like eye drops. He like reclines his seat back. He's like, here, do you want to put eye drops in for me? And I was like, that is the weirdest question anyone's ever asked me, but sure. They turn on the little like light thing in the car <laughs> and I'm like leaning over this little console thing and I'm like trying to drop eye drops in his eye. It's like I dropped the thing in his eye and he's like, oh. and then like <laughs> we just started kissing. I dropped the thing in his eye, like the eye drops. And then I think after that we were just like close and I think I kissed him first, actually, which is kind of weird. I'm just a thirsty hoe. And so we started kissing and then we started like making out. And I remember like feeling really excited because I hadn't kissed anyone since my ex. This was the second guy I'd ever kissed, I just realized. And so we start like making out in his car, okay. And then after like, I don't know, like an hour of making out in the back seat. And it's also like one of those weird things. I'm like getting horny to talk. I love sexual things, I'm sorry. It's not that I'm like, I miss his body or anything, like, cause I don't. But it's just like, talking about sexual things makes me horny. I feel like I have to go jerk off right now. He was like one of those guys who like wouldn't do things first. And you know, like we'd make out and like you expect it to like progress and like nothing ever happened. So it got kind of boring. So we decided to leave. We go out of the canyon back to his house where like literally his whole family lives and he like lives in the basement or whatever. And so like we go downstairs where he has like full on kitchen in the basement. <laughs> and he gave me cinnamon toast crunch, I remember. We we're sitting there after making out and we we're just like in silence in his basement eating cinnamon toast crunch at like midnight. <laughs> and then I remember it's like we can go to my room. I am not the kind of person so know very often and I was like oh sure and so we go to his room and this is where it gets a little cringy I, w I don't want to go too into detail but um <clears throat> basically we're like laying in his bed and we basically just made out for like another like two hours which honestly gets kind of boring I know some people say oh make out making out is like the best thing ever but for me I want to literally I want it to accelerate so fast and I want to have you inside of me in like 10 minutes or less, okay? Like it just wasn't going anywhere and he was like, you can sleep over. 
I almost did, but then I think I had to like work later in the next day and I was like, you know what, this is weird. It's like the first day. I usually don't even like kiss on the first date. Especially when your family is here, like that's just like weird. We were like fresh out of high school. <laughs> I'm like, you know what, it's chill, whatever, thanks for the day. But he walks me upstairs and he takes me through the garage. I like kissed him goodbye. And I was like, okay, great. Like, it's over, we're done. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever see him again, who knows. And so I was like, wow, this is so weird. And so I got in my car, started driving home, and I started thinking about my ex, who I wasn't completely over still. And I literally just started bawling, and I felt like I cheated on him. Anyway, like I said, uh, I told this person where I worked. And the next day, I was at work, I was like making drinks, I worked at a soda shop at the time, which I love that job, I miss it every day. And one of my friends who worked there, she's all like, uh, there's someone here for you at the front. And I was like, what, who is it? And so like, I peeked my head out the thing and it was him, like the guy I literally like made out with the night before. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so awkward. I literally didn't think I was ever gonna see this person ever again. It was very uncomfortable, very awkward. And I wasn't even like completely out of the closet, I think to all my coworkers. So I think I went up to him. I think we just like talked for a second. It was like a really awkward exchange. And I literally like fist bumped him. I literally fist bumped him and then like left. And then he like walked out the door. <laughs> I don't know, I don't remember our conversation or anything, but it was really weird. And then like, he texted me later and he was all like, I'm so sorry, I shouldn't have came to your job. I know that was creepy of me and all this stuff. And I'm like, well. I was like, no, like you're good, it's fine. And so I think he kept trying to text me for like a week after that. And I kind of eventually just like lost interest. I didn't see him again and I was just like, you know what, like this isn't really working out. <laughs> like all that cliche shit. I was just like, you know what, like we should just be friends. There's just something that's not there that should be. That's literally the line I used for every guy because it was true. Okay, every time I lost interest in a guy, which was very often, uh, I just said that. Haven't talked to him since, but sometimes he pops up in my Instagram and Facebook recommended as like friends. And I'm like, why? That is my first gay hookup. I know we didn't have sex, but we literally made out for hours, which is close enough, right? Should this be a series just called Tyson's Awkward Dating Life? Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any awkward hookup stories or dating stories, you guys can message them to me uh, or comment them down below. I'm really curious to hear them. I like love this kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, I will see you you guys on the next one.